past. There are real issues here. The w w wages have been depressed. Uh, the Republican Party has been driven into extinction. Uh, uh, look at the numbers. Uh, uh, you know, uh, I think the issue in, in uh, the immigration debate is not racism and xenophobia. It's treason. The people who are running the current policy are, they are, are, are barred upon a course which will destroy the United States as we know it. They have no loyalty to it. They want to transform it. Uh, so it's treason. So that, that, that's really the matter. So there's somewhere between between 10 and 20 million illegals. So so if they were mostly removed, uh, you know, you could probably. It depends how bad it's going to get, frankly. Uh, but you, you, you could, I mean, if, on a one-for-one -one basis, you could pretty well wipe out on the problem right now by, by eliminating illegal, by eliminating immigration and eliminating illegals, and it driving the way, you know, it, it causing the ones who are here to leave. It, it could have quite profound effects uh, over, over a long period of time. I think they should flat out say that the, the, the era of open borders is over just as the frontier closed and was officially declared closed in the 1890s. And uh, we've got to have a long period of time with no, with no net immigration. Uh, and that applies not just to illegal immigration, but also to legal immigration. It's got to be a time out to, to where it's so American can pull itself together and figure out what it's done to itself. So how much of a time out do you think we should have? Oh. Well, in terms of fixing the unemployment situation, I think a quick fix would just be like a year of no immigration at all. Uh, but I, in, in general, I think a moratorium of, of no net immigration doesn't mean no immigration, because, it, because there's, there's about 250,000 people leave every year grow, so you know, it'd be no, no net immigration would be 250 coming in, 250,000 leaving. Uh, I, I could see that for 10 years, 15 years, but it could be longer. It could be, the, the, the era of immigration may be permanently over all this. Fantastic. It could be a situation like uh, in, in the after the 1920s, there was a 14-year period where there was almost no immigration at all, and, and uh, that wouldn't strike me as unreasonable. Well, my position is that things that can't go on forever don't. We've just seen that in the stock market and the real estate market, and here you have a situation where this, this part is profoundly irrational. It's hurting vast numbers of people. Nobody likes it. Mm. The Republican Party is not willing to, uh, apparently willing to, uh, to answer the needs of its constituency. Mm. So what happens in these situations is uh, new parties develop. It doesn't happen that often, but it does happen. Mm -hmm. uh, um, the last time, in fact, the second party system was actually broken by the immigration issue. It was the nativist part, the party, the American party, came along and destroyed the Whigs. It wasn't slavery that destroyed the second party system. I, I lived through this in Canada. Uh, there was a conservative party that uh, started to ignore, in that case, it was a sectional question. They were ignoring the interests of the West, the West, Western Canadians, and a new party came along and, and displaced them completely. Mm -hmm. So uh, I know nobody believes me, but it, it can happen. I've seen it. I think if they don't start to see, as Bay was saying, if we don't start to see this issue surfacing in primaries now, and people winning uh, elections on it in, in uh, 2010, uh, if, if they manage to keep it bottled up, I think we'll see new, new parties set up, probably on a state-by-state -state basis. Uh, you know, as we've seen what's happened here, the federal government has, has failed to deal with the legal immigration problem nationally. So the states and the towns are now, are now taking over dealing with it and uh, using local ordinances to, to basically try and get the legal immigration out of control. It's pushed them out of their own jurisdictions into other jurisdictions. It's not a pretty solution, but it, it's, it's what's happening. I think we'll probably see that politically too, people will start to organize on a local basis, uh, uh, um, third parties and so on.